folks, this is Eagle Pandora back on Horizon 4. In my James Bond edition Aston Martin. Figure we just go for a drive around. Inside the cockpit. I mean, you guys were getting wet outside, following me in the back there. And I think I've said this before, but I this is the only type of driving I could do was in, from inside the car. I couldn't do that sort of Paris, almost like parasailing behind the cars when I first started playing these games, and now. This is almost too confining to be in here. Plus, you guys don't get that great of a view. I mean, it's neat to be in the car, but you really can't see much. You can't even see what's going on in my rear view mirror. I can see the side view mirror a little bit, but... Let's do a quick... Uh quick crash that wasn't meant to uh, do that but oh man I thought I was invisible I don't see no car I thought I was just sort of invisible there I guess so they can see me now huh? real quick just to just to do one uh, modern supercars why not my Aston Martin DB10 I put this paint job on and it looked good not everybody's a fan of green, though. Let's see, uh, let's see how things go. Wow, am I in last place? Seven. I don't have all-wheel drive in this one. I think I got beat by all-wheel drive. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Well, at least we did a drag race. Nice being up in those hot air balloons, I think. Getting a nice view of the surrounding area. Let's see, where should we head? Where or where should we go? You guys want to see anything particular on this game or mention some other game and see if I got it in my uh, inventory?
guys some insight in how to tune a car in the video. Now there's people here that play this game that have uh, formulas and math calculations and all that. I tune my cars by the feel of the driving that I do, so I do prefer lower air pressure. So we'll take this down. The rears I usually have lower than the fronts, so there we'll do that. Gears look okay. The alignment and my front caster angle is something I found out later since I tuned this, I guess, is that the more negative camber you got, the lower your front caster angle degree should be. So let's see what 4.8 does for us. And I use the 60 mile per hour to zero braking distance as a to let me know if I went too far or too little. So that 119.2, if I go up to five, it's if it goes lower, then that's good. If it goes higher, then it actually went down to 118.9. If I go up to 5.2, if it goes up, then 5.0 is sort of the sweet spot. It did so we'll leave that at 5.0 roll bars it seems when I run them sort of front and rear almost the same thing then I haven't decided whether I like that or not but for now I'll keep that where it is springs ride height leave that alone damping Softer seems to work better in these cars for some reason. Now on the aerodynamics, the rear, I've seen people take that all the way down. And it helps with speed, but then your handling doesn't exactly like it. So I was at 110 as far as top speed, so that picks it up to 215. I'm going to try it, I just don't know what it's going to do for my handling. Brakes, I favor the front and lower the brake force pressure down so I'm not locking up the brakes as much. And this is a rear wheel drive car, which I prefer all wheel drive, but that's where we're at. Um, I will put the deceleration down a little bit, put that down to 25, and we'll see how that uh, reacts. in the countryside in my James Bond edition Aston Martin. I 
said with my camera having very limited battery life, which I'm very upset about, I bought it through Amazon and I didn't realize it's from China and for some reason I guess over there in China they don't make uh, long videos or something so that only uh, burns up the battery juice in about an hour which is kind of goofy to me but it is what it is The, how this thing's handling now, it does feel pretty good. I don't know if it looks good as far as to the eye, whether it's handling the way I want it to, but it does feel good. these trains sort of you choose whether you hit the train or whether you hit the cars. It's amazing how the game has the traffic running like that. So it was a little too uh, throttle happy there. And uh, I think I we're at the max of my recording time. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one I make. Me and the cats make, I mean. Cat Trio Productions. They get mad if I don't give them credit. Again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.